Hi there, welcome to this week's Angel Inspirational Message. I'm Rachel Skoltok and I'm here to talk to you today about letting go of fear, how to release the fear that is holding you back from um, happiness in your life. So before we get started, I'm going to pull a couple of cards for you. One of the card decks I'm really happy to be working with at the moment is The Universe Has Your Back um, by Gabrielle Bernstein. You will have seen them showing up in my Instagram and my Facebook feed recently. They're beautiful messages. I wouldn't call them so much an oracle as, as inspirational, but you can use them like an oracle for sure because you can pull a card and ask, what do I need to know in this moment, just like I'm doing right now. And, okay, I find a deeper meaning and personal growth amid the discomfort. So, beautiful card, look at that, because we've also got the moon happening at the moment, the full moon, last night. I find deeper meaning and personal growth amid the discomfort. So, what's making you feel uncomfortable at the moment? What thoughts are you having? What situations are putting pressure on you and making you feel uncomfortable, distressed, fearful? Now, one of the reasons that I decided 15 years ago to become an angel medium, which really just means someone who communicates with angels and brings messages and, and healing through for others, was because I felt so strongly that other people needed to know about this powerful positive force that was available to everyone. And I knew instinctively that it's available to everyone. And I knew because as, as well my angels had told me it's available to everyone. And so not only did I make it part of my life career, you know, a way, of my profession, if you like, I also made it part of my service, which is why I do these free things. I do the free video and I do the free daily reading and I do an, a free blog. And um, I'm, I'm thinking about other ways that I can bring the angels and their message to you. And the message that I want to bring about the angels is the choice between fear and love, how angels come from pure love. They come from the universe, the source, the divine light. And angels are messengers beings of that light, intelligent pieces of, of that light that are sent to protect, heal and guide us. So everybody has angels and everybody can connect to their angels to receive their guidance and can definitely learn how to do that, but can also definitely, even if you don't know how to hear them and you don't know what the messages are, you can communicate in your way with them and ask them to help you, ask them to protect you, ask them to guide you in the direction of healing and trust that when you get um, certain thoughts, synchronicities, ideas to go somewhere, that when you trust yourself, that those um, those situations can unfold in ways that are um, beneficial to you and the situation that you asked for. And so, you know, it's my knowing that we have this force of good that is always working with us, never against us, and never testing, and never guilting, and never judging. And that we have this force of good that is not just um, the universe and the angels, but within us that is also willing to go forward in that way and to create things in that way. So as you connect to that force, the more fear, the negative, the resistance, the stuckness, the meanness, the judgment that comes at you from what seemingly outside of you, that starts to dissolve and disappear and become less important anyway, so that then you can overcome those things. So it's about, do you tune in to love or do you tune in to fear? And the angels most definitely help you to tune in to love. And love, by love, I don't just mean romantic love. I mean the force of good, the force of light, the force that makes you feel energized and good and, and worthy and peaceful. So that's my purpose. That's, that's why I do this. And this is what they're bringing to you. And so in that journey, the angels are always teaching. They're always helping you to understand 
what you're doing to block yourself? What, in what ways are you making life more uncomfortable for yourself? In what ways are you um, missing the deeper meaning in the discomfort by not seeing that maybe it's the way that you're thinking? Maybe it's what you're imagining is happening. Maybe it's um, because you're refusing to make a change or you've got resistance there of some kind or you're judging yourself or other people. And so the angels help us to move, find that and move through it. So I really love how that card has, has come forward saying there is a deeper meaning and personal growth in your discomfort and you can find that deeper meaning and grow past it, past the discomfort. So I'm using the Fairy Tarot by Radley Valentine and Doreen Virtue for um, another card. And we'll see what else the angels have to say through these cards too. Okay, so I've got one card here. Interesting. I'm being told to pull out three. So here's your, your first card. Now remember the first card is always the present situation, the present moment. So this one is the three of winter. And look, that character there looks like Santa Claus. He's got a big old grizzly bear with him friendly one and there is a little girl there and what does the little girl have she's got three three what looks like icicles or swords in her hand so this card is traditionally about heartbreak heartache sorrow loss grieving something that is missing or or has lost is has been lost in your life and it's it's asking you to reach out to other people for comfort and to know that you will get past this grief and this sorrow and you're even going to grow stronger from it. So see how the theme is with these cards today. So sometimes, you know, okay, there's Father Christmas and we're in the, the Christmas season now. So maybe Christmas has brought up sadness for you. Maybe it's conscious grief. Maybe it's an unconscious grief and you're not aware of it. Um, loneliness is a form of grief. It's grieving something that seems to be missing. So this is acknowledging that there may be grief, but there is definitely comfort and protection available to you if you reach out. So they're saying, don't sit alone with this. Reach out, go to your healer, go to your best friend who will listen without judgment. The second card that came out is the Prince of Autumn. Now look at this. It's a very protective figure in that card. He's got his sword, he reminds me of Archangel Michael, perhaps the fairy version dependable, protective, chivalrous, and humorous. So injecting a sense of humor, but it's saying that um, if you pay attention to what's going on for you and don't ignore it, don't just try and sweep it under the carpet and pretend it's not happening. Pay attention to your feelings. Let yourself feel them. Let yourself have them. Don't feel ashamed of them or guilty. Just be what you are feeling at this moment. Sit with it. And be kind to yourself, but also connect to those people who are kind. You know, I really love the saying is don't go to the hardware store for milk, is that sometimes we go to all the wrong places to get love and kindness. And then we get offended or upset or we take it personally when that person is unkind again. And really all that is, is a lesson, right? It's just a, it's like recognizing that when you put your hand on the stove, it burns you. And, and it's as simple as that. It's no deeper than that. So if you are going to someone who is unkind for kindness, that is not only going to make you feel worse, but you're also not learning your lessons. You're not recognizing. And there's a reason why we do that. And the reason is, is that we take it personally. We, we somehow expect that the reason that that person has been mean or rude or offhand or unkind or judgmental is something to do with us, when in actual fact it can't be. Unless you've been in that moment directly unkind to them, then most of the time what it means is, is that that's what they've got on the inside. That's all they've got at that moment, maybe, in the, in perhaps in full stop, that's all they've got at this moment in time. You know, so that isn't to do with you, that's to do with them. And that might be because they've let, not let go of heartache and heartbreak and loss and judgment and fear that's been directed at them in their lives. So it's really saying to you that be be protective, trust your boundaries. And it's important to be discerning, not judgmental. 
So we tend to be judgmental when we feel either afraid of being judged or we've been judged. So we tend to judge back straight away or we, or we judge people so that we get in first. So, oh, that person's outfit is awful or, you know, we get up in the morning, we don't feel so good. So we start looking at other people that don't look so good. So we, we start judging that. And that's, it's a, it's a game of the ego and it is the direct path to misery. It is a direct path to misery. If you've ever noticed people that the most judgmental, the most critical are the most unhappy because they're desperately trying to cast off their unhappiness onto other people through blame and criticism. So when you stop judging, you start tuning out of that fear channel and going back into the channel of love, which is where your happiness is, where your peace is, where your peace of mind is, which is what you really want. You're choosing peace over fear. So what this card is saying is really is protect yourself, be kind to yourself and be kind to others, but protect your boundaries so that you're not allowing that judgmental, harsh energy, unkindness to come in towards you. And that isn't mean to say, all right, that's a good person to hang out with because I feel comfortable about myself around that person, but that person, I don't always feel comfortable about myself and I don't have to get into why. I'm just saying it's like putting my hand on the hot stove. I'm just not going to go there. And if you start bitching about that person, if you start putting them down, if you start gossiping about them, then, then you're judging and that's putting you into that lower channel. But if you just say, that's good for me, that isn't good for me, then you're in discernment and that's, that's how you're meant to be. That's, that's what, that's smart, that's protection, that's energy protection. And so the final card, yay, is the wheel. I really like this card because it's about life moving forward in a positive way. It's like delays are over, that feeling of stuckness is, is moving. You're moving to the next level. So this is really a really perfect reading to give you a message about um, how to shift your energy to a high level, how to get out of where you are right now if you're feeling stuck or uncomfortable, and to acknowledge your feelings. It's not saying get rid of your feelings. You're not allowed to have negativity. It's, of course you're allowed to have negativity because what most of us call negativity are just our emotions. It's when we get stuck there and we start using those emotions against other people and against ourselves that the problem happens. So your angels are there not as just kind of ethereal, you know, beings that transport your soul, you know, waiting for the moment when you have to cross over or anything like that. They are wise teachers and they are helping you all the time, but they're not ever going to force their help on you. You've got to ask, ask for it and you've got to accept it. And that's the important thing. So it's about this week making sure that you acknowledge your emotions, that you acknowledge what your body and your, your whole self is feeling and you protect yourself and your emotions and that you release judgment not only from how you are talking about others and thinking about others but also about how you're talking and thinking about yourself. So have a really wonderful week ahead from my heart to yours. I'm sending you angel blessings. Please know I will be on Instagram and Facebook every day. I'm posting a full reading. The words are mine. The cards belong to other people at this moment until I one day create my own deck. And my book is available right now for sale on Amazon and on my website, rachelskoltot.com. And we are selling tickets right now for Uluru. I know it's close to Christmas, but um, it does sell out. So if you do want to go on that trip with me to Uluru, which is a sacred place, beautiful place to do your self-healing to connect with the angels and your guides it's um, on sale now and you can do a payment plan if you want to have a great week ahead